This video contains mature and or graphic content. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. A family tragedy led our next guest down a road of fear and shame, causing her to avoid medical attention for years. This is her story. When I was little, my parents told me how my uncle died at the dentist. He was about eight years old. He was given some anesthetic, and he never woke back up. I've been afraid of the dentist as long as I can remember. It just developed into being that place that I didn't want to go. Going into my adulthood, having the preventive maintenance not being done caused a lot of cavities. I'm missing about five teeth. I have discoloration and a lot of nerve issues as well that you can't see. I just thought it was best for me to deal with the pain and just keep my mouth closed majority of the time. I feel that I'm disgusting and I have bad breath. I feel alone. I feel embarrassed. I worry a lot about my health because I know it can affect your heart. That's another form of anxiety. I might die because of the state of my teeth. I was at work sitting at the desk and Dr. Dorfman walks through the door. He just stopped and looked at me. And he said, you know, I'm a dentist, right? Why don't you come to my office on your lunch break? Do a little consultation with you. I was so scared in the inside. And by me seeing Dr. Dorfman almost every day, I didn't want to let him down. And I didn't want to let myself down. Please welcome cosmetic dentist, Dr. Bill Dorfman to the show. Bill, obviously, it seems like the story of you meeting Tana was pretty emotional. Yeah, you know, Tana worked at, at my building and every day I saw her and I see this beautiful, vivacious woman who was afraid to smile or she put her hand in front of her face. And one day I just walked up to her and said, Tana, you know, I'm a dentist. She goes, I I'm afraid of dentists. I'm like, you don't need to be afraid. She says, no, you understand my uncle died at the dentist. So, you know, we brought her into the office and um, I mean, this is one of the biggest makeovers ever. It, it literally took a team of people to make her smile. We have Dr. Loosefelt here who placed her implants, Dr. Anderson who did her root canals, and then of course Da Vinci who always does beautiful porcelain veneers and crowns for us, but the result, Will knock and your socks it all started off. with that meeting. You know, this truly was a multi-step makeover, pretty remarkable, and we were there every step of the way. Check it out. You are too beautiful a person not to be able to walk around and smile. Somebody really cared. I don't know what to say. It just dug something really deep inside, and I said, you know what, I can do it. Is Dr. Luce felt? So he's going to do your extractions today. I'm very nervous. I'm just trying to stay strong here. I've come a long way just being here. All right, and one of the three roots is out. There's a lot of infection around those roots. Okay. So you got to go and clean that out, scrape it out. You got to get all that infected stuff out of there. All right, we got it out. Yay! And that's the infection at the end of the root. Sometimes it comes out with the tooth. So now that the teeth are out, we're gonna place some bone graft material in there. It's little bone chips and that fills the space. It stimulates her bone to grow to maximize the bone for the future implant. This one's gotta come out. All right. There's one more tooth to go. All right. There it is, that's the last tooth. Drill and then the implant goes in, all right? Okay. A little vibration here. This is the trabecular metal implant. Just like that. All right, implant number one is done. Implant number two, open real big. Okay, I'll give him a do a little torquing. Now we just unscrew the implant placement coping. All right, Tana, we're done. And all we have is another few weeks until we get your teeth. Okay, awesome. 
that I don't have to live like this. I can conquer this and I want to be whole again.